Mahalo to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. For more Hawaii videos, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video. Aloha, I'm Miriam and this is Yes to Hawaii. We make Hawaii videos take the guesswork out of planning your trip. As always, I'll leave timestamps in the description box below so feel free to skip around the video for the parts that you came here for. So you've heard about the submarine ride, but you want to know how it works, what does it look like, and is it worth it? If so, this video is for you. In this video, we are going 100 feet underwater or about 30 meters in the world's largest passenger submarine. Now, if you're on our neighbor island, there are submarine rides on both Maui and the Kona side of Big Island. However, in this video, we're focusing specifically on the submarine ride in Waikiki on the island of Oahu. I'll talk about how it works and is it worth it. To book the submarine, check out the link in the description box below. So first off, how does it work? From start to finish, it's about two hours long for the activity and you're underwater for 45 minutes. We checked in at the Hilton Hawaiian Village's Atlanta submarine kiosk. The kiosk is located oceanfront just beside the Tropics restaurant and it's right across from the Hilton Pier. After we checked in, we got boarding passes. We took these boarding passes over to the Hilton Pier and gave the boarding passes to the crew. These boarding passes got us on the transfer boat, which takes us to the submarine ride. Now, this is one of the questions I've gotten asked the most. Do you board the submarine directly from the pier? And the answer is no, you do not. The submarine stays out in the middle of the ocean. There's a transfer boat that goes back and forth from the actual Hilton Pier to the submarine the transfer boat will take you about 10 minutes just off the shoreline. The transfer boat is pretty spacious. It has two decks. The bottom deck has snacks that you can purchase, souvenirs, and whatever else you might need. Now keep in mind, the submarine ride has no bathrooms and the transfer boat is the last bathroom you will see before you get on the submarine ride. This is especially crucial to note, especially if you're traveling with small children. From the shoreline, the ride on the transfer boat was about 10 minutes or so to the submarine drop zone. It's pretty cool. You see the bubbles pop up to the surface and those bubbles tell the transfer boat exactly where the submarine actually is. The transfer boat comes alongside the submarine as the submarine surfaces. Then everyone disembarks the submarine to get on the transfer boat and then it's our turn. We were top side of the submarine and then we climbed down this ladder to get inside of the submarine. One of the more common questions I've been asked is how small is the submarine? And to answer your question, it's actually pretty spacious as well. I took this photo to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. I am five foot eight and I still have space. When you're inside the submarine, it's typically two people per viewing port and the viewing ports are pretty big too. You're underwater checking out fish, turtles, sunken ships, and sunken planes. Now you'll do this for about 45 minutes and then the submarine surfaces. You'll get back on the transfer boat and head back to the shoreline. Start to finish, it's about two hours. So for us, we took the two o'clock submarine ride. We checked in at 1.30 and we were back to the shoreline by about 3.45 that afternoon. Another question I've been asked is, is the submarine family friendly? And the answer is yes. Absolutely. One of my best friends has a four-year-old son and he has been talking about wanting to go on the submarine for such a long time, so we decided to go. For the submarine, there's no age restrictions. However, every passenger must be at least 36 inches tall or three feet, and you have to be able to climb down the ladder 100% on your own. This means, for example, if you have a smaller child, you're not gonna be able to carry the child in your arm as you go down the submarine ladder. Both you and the child have to separately be able to go down the ladder 100% on your own. Now, the ladder looks like this. Think of it as like a pool ladder, but there are handrails too. And for little ones, they can take their time. The submarine ride is a great option for those who want to check out underwater marine life. Snorkel cruises require that all guests know how to swim. So if you're a non-swimmer, this is the next best thing to check out the underwater marine life without having to actually get in the water yourself. Next, is it worth it? In a word, yes. I have never seen a four-year-old so stoked. I am now the coolest auntie of all time and I'm very proud of that. Now, keep in mind, every submarine ride is different. 
It depends on the ocean conditions for the day. And turtles, stingrays, and other marine life are not on the submarine payroll. Visibility also varies, just like if you were to go snorkeling. For this reason, I think that's why there's so many mixed reviews about the submarine. Some people say they absolutely loved it, some people say I didn't see anything. A lot of it depends on the ocean conditions of the day. When we did the submarine ride, it was two o'clock in the afternoon, ocean was calmish, and it was a nice sunny day. Visibility was crystal clear. All the footage that you're seeing on this video was taken on my iPhone 13 Pro or my GoPro Hero 10. This is the perfect half day activity if you'd like to do something fun, but locally within Waikiki. Such a small percentage of people have gone 100 feet underwater and even less have done so in a submarine. So this is pretty cool. Now, a couple tips. If you're prone to motion sickness or seasickness, go ahead and take your tablets or your ginger tablets ahead of time. The submarine ride itself is very, very calm. However, the transfer boat that takes you from the shoreline to the actual submarine ride itself can be a little rocky. The ride is very short, only 10 minutes from the shoreline to the submarine drop zone. However, for those who are sensitive to motion sickness or seasickness, that can be a bad time. The submarine does provide these Aloha bags just in case, but either way, prevention is the best way to handle it. Take the tablets ahead of time, whether that's ginger or other motion sickness tablets, C-bands, whatever you normally use for boat rides if you are prone to motion sickness or seasickness. And also bring a light jacket or sweater if you get cold easily. The transfer boat that goes from the shoreline to the submarine, it was really, really windy. I didn't really get that chilly, but the kiddo that was with us definitely was glad that I brought an extra sweater. And also the submarine ride itself is 100% fully air conditioned. So again, if you get cold easily, definitely bring a light jacket or sweater. We had such a blast on the submarine ride and I'm glad we could take you guys with us. To book this activity, check out the link in the description box below. If you're looking for other itinerary ideas, check out this video for 14 things to do here on Oahu. And also check out the links in the description box below for other reviews on popular activities that we've done here on the island of Oahu. If you're interested in more out of the box, Hawaii experiences, check out the link in the video description below for seven unforgettable Hawaii experiences, which includes this video and six other ideas on things you can do here on the island that you may not have done before. We'll be posting that video in July and it will be our 100th full length video here on the channel. Mahalo to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. They have activities like this one for Oahu and the neighbor islands. If you're interested in this activity or other Oahu activities, I'll leave a link in the description box below. I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if there's any other Hawaii videos you'd like to see, definitely leave them in the comments down below. The most important thing is we only have restrooms on this boat. No restrooms. Are you going on a submarine? This is a helicopter tour, bro. No, I'm just joking. Bro. This is a submarine.